Hey everyone, so I have this pallet right here with peat moss and garden soil on it for my garden I'm going to be making in the spring. Well, I just came out here with a sledgehammer and actually it wasn't that hard. It didn't even break the bags open. I smashed it with a sledgehammer to get a few of them loose because they're all frozen. And I brought a couple of them down into the basement so they can thaw. Then I'll bring them outside for the messy part. I just bought a little monkey tree and I have a living Christmas tree in the house and I decided to give them really big pots. So I brought the bags of dirt in the house and I thought this would really help in front of the stove until they started peeing on the floor. So now they're in the sink. This is probably going to take at least a day to thaw. So I just bought this monkey tree. I've always wanted one. Check it out. When I got it out of its pot from Walmart, see it's got like no structural stability. It only goes in a couple inches and it came in a tiniest little pot. Yeah, it actually came in this pot that I just reused for the aloe plant. So I just gave it this huge pot so it can be in here for probably most of its life or like 10 years if it even lives that long. Or I mess up is probably how it would die. I also got this living Christmas tree here, which came in a much smaller pot. Now it has a gigantic pot that it can be in for a while. The mistake people make with these trees, or the one, the biggest mistake that I've made with these trees, especially as a little kid, because my parents didn't read the packaging it came with. This is a tropical tree from Australia. This pine tree cannot deal with being outside if it's below 45 so no you can't plant them outside if you live in a place that gets winters and back here this is my um smells good citronella plant this right here i bring it in the house every year see how it's starting to grow scraggly this is not a great house plant but sometimes it flowers before the springtime in the springtime i cut it down to its base put it outside for the whole summer and after a few months, it's a giant bush again. Really good. Also right here, I have the snake's cage, which got a big pothos plant. Here's the snake now. Snake is pretty dark, is about to shed again. As soon as this guy sheds, I don't want to interrupt him right now, because they're... They don't like to be touched when they're shedding and when they're like a day before shedding their eyes are coated over white and they'll bite you because they don't know what you are. They think you're like food or something. So as soon as this guy sheds one more time, I got to clean this cage. You see there's a little bit of poop right in that crevice. But I like this possum's pant. It's like crawling around in here and the snake actually curls up inside there. When the snake was little, it couldn't have plants. It would try digging and just destroy them. It doesn't do that anymore. It just lays down in the pot. This is a 14-year-old snake. Thanks for watching.